Okay. Can we continue? Okay lah. So, every day I pray the Our Father. Di na nga. The line there that I always slow down is, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So this is no compromise, di ba? <laughs> if you want God to forgive you, you have to forgive others. And this is all in the Bible, di ba? Uh, if you look at Luke chapter 6, verse 37. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Okay. So, ibig sabihin ito, this is not optional. <laughs> Dito, optional. Forgiving other people is not optional. It is a command that Jesus gives us and that He reminds us every time we pray the Our Father. Oh, hindi to optional ha? Hindi to parang uh, masakit eh. I, I will not forgive. I will just let the emotion. No. This is not optional. You have to forgive because Jesus tells us. And you will be forgiven on the condition that you forgive. Ay, <laughs> medyo mabigat siya. <laughs> so, only if you forgive. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Now, I think, uh, I remember your cone is class of 1984, right? Am I right? Yes, Father. You're right. So you are now probably 56, 57 years old? Anganya, di ba? Anywhere from 55, <laughs> 56, 57, 58. So I assume, yung age na niyan, you have already had some bitter experiences of betrayal, <laughs> of being uh, swindled, <laughs> yung mga naloko na kayo, ng sino-sino, and therefore there is already some pain. There is some bitterness. There are some areas in your life na masakit. And that's why I've taken this topic. Kasi it's very hard to proceed to 60, 65 old age if you have something in your life that you have not resolved to forgive. Okay ba tayo? Can we proceed? So, ang question dyan is, when I was searching is, what does forgiveness entail? Ano ba talaga yung forgiveness? Okay? If you watch the movie, nagiiyakan sila, di ba? <laughs> if you watch the movie, Tanging Yaman, I suppose you've seen this, no? Si Christopher De Leon, si, ano, no? Si Edu Manzano, si Gloria Romero. When they forgive one another, everybody is crying. <laughs> everybody feels good. Is that the essence of forgiveness? No. Hindi. So, madaming myth, misunderstanding about what forgiveness is. So, my first, the first, there are two parts. The first part is what forgiveness is not. Okay. <laughs> what forgiveness is not. Kasi mahirap yung, ano eh, let's remove the, let's remove the, uh, parang, Myths and legends. Okay. Number one. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting. Oh, okay. Na. Madalas to. Madalas to. As a priest. As a confessor. Yung mga kinaliwa ng kanilang mga asawa. I speak from personal experience. Ha? The lady comes to me. Because nagba the, the, the husband has asked forgiveness and they have reconciled. So they're living together again. And the uh, wife approached me for counseling. And the wife said, Father, my husband was unfaithful 10 years ago. 10 years ago. But until now, I still remember his unfaithfulness. And it still hurts me. I still remember the way he has 
been unfaithful to me. Okay. Sige, that's number one. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting. Those are two different things. Even if you forgive, it is possible you will still remember. And the feeling is still there. The feeling of being betrayed. The feeling of being hurt. The feeling of being two time. Linoko ka! So, iba yan. Don't equate forgiving for forgetting. Kahit na naalala mo, iba yung forgiving. We will go to the forgiving later. But it does not mean if you forgive, you will forget. Those are two different things. You could have forgiven this person who did you wrong, betrayed you, swindled you, but it does not mean you will forget. Okay? So, iba yun. Iba ang forgiving, iba ang forgetting. O, number two. Ah, ito na pala. Sorry. <laughs> it is not necessarily an intense emotion. Kasi most of the time we see in the movies when there is forgiveness, there is ang tinatawag doon, catharsis. Catharsis is nag-iiyakan. There is a release uh, of emotions. Parang uh, everybody is crying. It is uh, an emotional release. Oh, sige, hindi. <laughs> Yun nga, sinasabi ko, if you watch the movie, Tanging Yaman, nung nagpatawaran na sila, when they forgave one another, everybody was crying and everybody was happy. Forgiveness is not necessarily an intense emotion. There is no catharsis. There is no jubilation. There is no intense upheaval of your emotion. Maganda kung meron, if you will feel this lightness, this feeling of release, parang napatawad ko na siya. Wala na akong dinadala. Wala nang tinik sa buhay ko. Eh, <laughs> not necessarily. Sometimes it feels like that. When you have forgiven somebody, sometimes it feels like that. But it's not forgiveness. Yes. Oh, okay ba tayo? Number three. Mas madami yung what it is not than what it is, ha? Is, it does not mean being stupid. Sige. Merong nag-swindle sa akin. Two million. Hindi na niya ako mabayaran kasi nalugi rin siya. So, on my own, I told this person is si Sebastian. Mayroon si Sebastian. Sebastian! Owed me money, 2 million, but he could not pay me anymore. So, iniiwasan niya ako. Sabi ko, Sebastian, I forgive you. I forgive you. I condone your debt. Hindi na kita sisingilin. Anong sabi ni Sebastian? Sige, since pinatawad mo na ako, pautang ulit. <laughs> Ano sasabihin mo? Hindi na. Sabi ni Sebastian, akala ko ba pinatawad mo na ako? Bakit hindi mo ako pinauutang ulit? BFF na tayo, di ba? <laughs> best friends na tayo ulit. Kasi best friends tayo nun eh. Kaya mo ako pinauutang. Eh pinatawad mo na ako eh. Kailangan pautangin mo na ako ulit. Oh, in... <laughs> that is not what forgiveness means. It does not mean Payag ako lukohin mo habang buhay. <laughs> oh, that's not what it means. So, meron tayong saying, di ba? You fool me once. Linoko mo ako once. Shame on you. Kau may kasalanan. You should be ashamed that you fooled me. You fool me twice. Pangalawang beses mo na ako naloko. Shame on me. <laughs> ako dapat mahiya. Because pinayagan na naman kitang lukohin mo. So, forgiveness does not mean being stupid. Kung naloko mo na ako, pinatatawad kita, pero hindi to ibig sabihin, pwede mo ko lukohin. 
hindi niya pwede sabihin, papautang ulit. <laughs> hindi na gano'n, hindi na pwede. It does not mean pwede ka niya lokohin tuloy-tuloy. Every time niloko niya, you forgive. Tapos nun, hindi. Ha, ah, ano ba yan? <laughs> okay, okay, sige. Oh, okay, okay tayo? Tuloy ako. Okay na? Okay na? Oh, sige. Number four. Forgiveness is different from reconciliation. Ulitin natin. Forgiveness is different from reconciliation. Oh, very clear. In the Bible, in the Our Father, in Luke, it is an obligation to forgive. What is the difference between forgiveness and reconciliation? Forgiveness can be done by only one person. I choose to forgive. Reconciliation has to be done by two persons. The other person, I have no control. Which means, if I forgive him, but he does not accept that he made a mistake, or that he swindled me, or he scammed me, or he betrayed me, I cannot control him. So, hindi ibig sabihin kung pinatawad ko na siya, kailangan mag-reconcile kami. What is the difference? Forgiveness can be done by one person. Even if the other person does not ask forgiveness. Reconciliation has to be done by two persons. Magkakabati kayo. Of course, pinakamaganda, after you forgive, mag-reconcile. But you have to remember, you have no control as to the other person. Hindi porkit hindi siya humihingi ng tawad, hindi mo siya pwede patawarin. You can forgive the person who has wronged you, who has betrayed you, who has maligned you, even if he does not ask forgiveness. Forgiveness is done by only one person. Ikaw, magpapatawad. It is your choice. We'll go to that later. Reconciliation is done by two persons. Kung ayaw niya humingi ng tawag, kung ayaw niya makipagbate, kung ayaw niya makipagayos sa'yo, you cannot do anything. You cannot reconcile. But you can forgive. Reconciliation is optional. Hindi natin alam mangyari. But forgiveness is an order from Jesus. Okay ba tayo? Can, can you hear me? Paano ba ito malalaman ko may feedback? Eh, pwede mo pakita sa akin. Mga... Okay, new, uh, makikita ko ba sa'yo? Uh, I-request nyo lang po na open the link. Ah, hindi na, hindi na. Okay, is, uh, did I come... Okay, okay, sige. Okay na, okay na. Okay, okay, okay. Now, before I proceed, pwede ba kami mag-usap? Because, before I proceed, because the next phase is what forgiveness is. Ano na? Ah, apat lang yan. Yung susunod is what forgiveness. Huwag muna ba yung pasta. I want to ask you first, are there any questions, clarification, before I go to what forgiveness is? Meron bang pwede mag-ano sila dyan? They can, can they ask me? Pero bang clarification? Yeah, Father, um, this is Beth. I want to check. What if the person is not asking for forgiveness? That doesn't matter. You forgive him. Mm, okay. It is a choice. It, 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 that's the difference between um, yung reconciliation and forgiveness. Your forgiveness, your forgiving him, does not depend on him asking forgiveness from you. Ayan. Ask everyone else. Ah, okay. So, if the person does not ask for forgiveness, it does not matter. You can unilaterally from your side forgive the person who hurt you. Kaya nga, iba ang reconciliation, iba ang forgiveness. Because if the person does not admit that he made a mistake, that he betrayed you, that he swindled you, kung ayaw niya, 
Wala ka magagawa. You cannot control him. You cannot control what he wants. But forgiveness does not depend on the other person. Forgiveness is an act of the person going out of himself. Sige. May iba pang questions before I proceed? Because iba yung ano eh, iba yung what forgiveness is. Father, is it possible to forgive but still keep your distance to avoid? Yeah. yeah. Sige, yun na nga. Yun na nga. That's it. There's so many misconceptions. Of course. Father, can I, is it possible to forgive but still keep your distance to avoid disrespect? Hindi na ba ibig sabihin kung I forgive you, best friends na tayo. Eh, diba? <laughs> this does not mean I have to like you. This does, this does not mean that I, ang ano dyan is, we can be cordial, babatiin na kita, hopefully batiin mo ko, but that does not depend. I can make the first step. I don't hold the grudge on you. Yes. Is it possible to forgive but still keep your distance? Dahil ayoko na lapitan mo ko eh. Dahil baka lolokoy mo na naman ako eh. <laughs> baka utangan mo na naman ako. I forgive you. I will be cordial to you. I will be nice to you. Hindi kita babastusin. I will greet you. I will pray for you. But it does not mean that we have to be close friends. Hindi tayo kailan maging BFF. <laughs> you don't have to call me every day. And I don't have to call you every day. Iba yun. Iba yung forgiveness, iba yung best friends. But you have to be cordial. Which means, pag nagkita tayo, you have to acknowledge the presence of that person. Wala ka nang sama ng... Well, you try na wala ka nang sama ng... O sige, other questions? Ay, ako. Tumagigat. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking about what is the benefit of uh, forgiving someone else when... I will go to that. I will go to that. I will go to that. That's in the part two. Ayun, how about if mag-asawa? Ayan, medyo mahirap. <laughs> Kung mag-asawa, if you cannot work out because the pain is so much, you have to go to marriage counseling because they will have techniques on how to ease, how to rejuvenate, revitalize your relationship. Pagka mag-asawa, it's a little more complicated because you have to be with with each other regularly. So hindi pwede yung hindi tayo mag-uusap. <laughs> Nandiyan yung anak natin, yun yung negosyo natin, sino mong babae dun driver, we have to coordinate. So if it's husband and wife, it will be a little more difficult. You have to work through uh, with a marriage counselor. Okay? It's, it's a little more difficult kung mag-asawa because you cannot keep your distance. Eh. Mag-uusap kayo kailangan. Eh. So it's easier if it's just a fellow employee or a business partner, you can keep your distance. But if you're married, you have to go through a marriage counselor how you will work through this particular feeling or pain of betrayal. Okay, Taya? Question? Let's... Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, can forgiveness be unconditional? Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, hindi yan, for, hindi yan forgiveness kung may condition. My, my, my act of forgiving does not depend on the one who hurt me. So it is in that sense condition, un unconditional. Okay. You, the other question about what are the benefits, I will go to that now. But before I go, because I want to clarify first yung myth about what forgiveness is. Madaming myth kasi dito. That's why I had to search. Eh. Ano ba talaga, Lord, ang forgiving? So first, what it is not. Balikan natin yung outline. It is not forgetting. You will not forget. It still hurts. It is not an intense emotion. Hindi kailangang umiyak ka. Walang catharsis. Walang magaang napakiramdam. It is still hurtful. It does not mean being stupid, which means we don't have to be friends. <laughs> Close friends. Hindi ba ko pwede? Pinoko mo ko, ngayon kontrata na tayo. Ha? <laughs> Wala na tayong uh, verbal agreement. Ngayon kung, may kontra ngayon kung meron tayong business dealing, because we have to have a business dealing, let's put everything on a contract. And I can sue you if you don't do what you want. And I can sue you if you don't do what you promised to do. Pero kasi kung walang kontrata, di maloloko ka lang. Hindi niya ginawa. Wala ka na magagawa. You cannot enforce it. 
Pero ngayon, kontrata na tayo. May demandahan na tayo. Mag-iso ka ng post-dated check. <laughs> Didimanda kita pag, pag tubalbog yung check mo. No? So... Okay. Sige, I will just recap, then I will go to the what it is, no? So, madaming myth and led, parang myth or misunderstanding of what forgiveness is. Now, you have to remember, ha? Forgiveness is a command from Jesus. It is imperative. Hindi mo pwede hindi gawin. Tsaka, sa our Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Parang ganun, hirap doon. Pag hindi ka nagpatawad, hindi ka rin patatawarin ng Diyos. Oh, medyo mabigat. So, so this is something that you cannot, it is not optional. Forgiveness is not optional. Okay? So it is not forgetting. We still remember. You don't have to cry. You don't have to feel good. It does not mean being stupid, which means hindi ako papayag magpaloko ulit sa'yo if you've done something wrong and I forgive you. It does not mean I have to let you fool me again. And the last one is, it is different from reconciliation. Forgiveness depends on one person, you. Reconciliation depends on two persons. I have no control as to the other person. If the other person does not want to ask forgiveness, if the other person does not want to re reconcile, I cannot do anything. But because I have, because it's a moral imperative, I have to make a choice. Oh, okay ba tayo? Can we move on to the next phase? Yes. Any questions pa ba? I think. I think. Okay. 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 Yes, Father. Okay na. Sige. So the first one. Yan. It is an act of a person's free will. Oh, ano yung sabihin nun? When God created human beings, the greatest gift He gave to us is our free will. Our choice. God will not force us to do anything. Kaya nga eh. That's why you have a choice because God gives you. you ang ano dyan is, you must choose to love Him. Hindi ka niya pipilitin mahalin mo siya. Hindi ka niya pipilitin sumunod sa commandments niya. His greatest gift to us is our free will, our choice. Which means, forgiveness is a choice irrespective of what you feel. Kailangan ba masarap ang pakiramdam? Maganda sana kung masarap ang pakiramdam. <laughs> But it's not necessary. It is not necessary that you feel good when you forgive somebody. Baka nga masakit pa eh. Pinatatawad mo to, linoko ko. O kung mga may mag-asawa, di ba? Linoko mo ako! Tatatawarin pa kita! <laughs> so, irrespective of what you feel, irrespective of whether you will forget or not forget, I choose to forgive. Oh, choice yon. Walang pakiramdam ang emotion. Sana may masarap ang pakiramdam. <laughs> Sana parang nabunutan ka ng tinik. Sana masarap yung magsama tayo ulit. Pero hindi. Sometimes the pain is constant. Sometimes the pain is still there. Or sometimes, wala na. But after a while, you will still remember na linoko ko nito. <laughs> I give a personal, ano ha? personal uh, experience. Yung mga kapatid ko, uh, madali yan. Parang when you feel good, uh, you, you're preaching about forgiveness, you're preaching. Okay yan, napapatawag ko sila. Eh, pero pag, if things go wrong, may problema na naman doon sa lupa. <laughs> Sa mga kapatid ko, magaling lang sila pagpartihan. <laughs> Pagtrabaho na, ako na naman mag-isa, wala na naman. So, it is an act of the person's free will. It is a choice. It does not have to feel good. You have, <laughs> even if you remember. So, which means, ganito yan. Minsan, you have to repeat the act. Uulitin mo. 
<laughs> Minsan every day you have to say, pinatawad ko na siya. Pinatatawad ko pa ulit. Bukas, pag masakit, patatawarin ko na naman. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do it every day. Hindi lang every day, every other day. Okay. It is a choice. You just not have to feel good. You don't have to forget. Masakit pa rin. Or you choose to do it. Oh, I'm reminding you, ha, this is not an optional thing. Ha? This is an imperative. Bakit? Kasi hindi ka patatawarin ng Diyos kung hindi ka magpapatawarin. For, oh, yun, tandaan ninyo, yung Our Father, ha? when you pray this, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Oh, number two. It is a learning experience. Paano mo malalaman na masakit pala mag-betray? Pag ikaw ang binetray. Iba. How will you know it is very hurtful to be betrayed when somebody betrays you first? You say, ah, Ganito pala ang pagtaksila. Ganito pala ang mabetray. Ito nararamdaman ng tao. Kaya eh sana, because you know how hurtful it is, you know how painful it is, hindi mo nagagawin. You learn not to hurt other people because you have been hurt first. Kung hindi ka nasaktan, Kung hindi mo naramdaman yung sakit na yan, hindi sa baro, hindi. Okay lang, gagawin ko kasi hindi naman masaktan eh. Pero hopefully, because you've learned how it is to be hurt, how to be betrayed, how to be swindled, hindi mo nagagawin. So, it is to yung not being stupid. Ginamit ko na to earlier. Kung naloko ka na, Dahil verbal lang yun yung contract. Huwag ka na magpaulit ng verbal lang. <laughs> Magkata na tayo. May garantor. May collateral. <laughs> Pag hindi ka nagbayad, didimanda kita. <laughs> Pag hindi ka nagbayad, hindi mo ginawa, may consequences. So which means, because there was such a bitter experience, you will not allow yourself to be jeep again. Hindi ka na magpapaloko. So, kailangan matutunan mo yan. Pag hindi mo natutunan yan, ikaw may kasalanan. So, you have to learn about the pain so that you don't do it again to another, you don't do it to another person and you have to learn where you made a mistake. Saan ako na loko? Saan ako pinaliwa? <laughs> Kung may boyfriend at mag-girlfriend, boyfriend kayo, kinaliwa ka nung boyfriend mo or girlfriend mo, sabi mo, bakit mo ko kinaliwa? Kasi masyado kang mabait. <laughs> Hindi ka nagsiselos. Gusto ko yung nagsiselos. Okay. Next time, makailan magselos ka na. Or, ibot ka. Hindi ka gumagastos. Pag lumalabas tayo, ako pa pinagbabayad mo. Ah, okay. Hindi pala kailangan ko. <laughs> you have to learn from the experience of being betrayed. Of being hurt, of being swindled. Okay? Sige. Number three. It is a positive act for yourselves. O sige, yung question kanina. If I forgive, what's in it for me? If I forgive, what's in it for me? O sige, number one, yung if you forgive, God will also forgive you. Okay. If you forgive, God will also forgive you. Yan ang sinasabi nga sa our Father. It's so basic. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Hindi ka nagpatawad, hindi ka rin patatawarin. And this comes from the lips of Jesus. Pero meron ding ibang benefits pa. Ano? Bababa ang iyong high blood. <laughs> kasi hindi mo na maalala. You will try to forgive. Kasi kung if you have not forgiven, parang tape recorder yan eh, di ba? Linoko niya ako, paulit-ulit. But if you say, I've forgiven this person, itabi ko na yan. I will try to forget. 
I will no longer allow him to bother me. Of course, it will still bother you, but you say, bahala ka na, Lord. <laughs> ikaw na ang gumanti sa kanya instead na ikaw magpaplano ka pa paano ka gaganti sa kanya. You say, oh Lord, linoko ako. I leave it up to you. Bahala ka na. <laughs> oh, God naman is a God of justice. Eh. Bahala na siya. Yung paghiganti, leave it up to God. Kung gusto niya akong paghiganti, I mean, if God thinks it's right, meron naman tinatawag na karma, if God thinks it is right, di gaganti siya. God will take revenge for you. If he sees, if God says, hindi na. Because there is, uh, uh, would you call a, uh, alam mo, may problema yan eh. Kaya kanyang linoko kasi pagagamot niya yung kanyang asawa, may cancer, pagagamot niya yung anak mo, di bahala na. I don't know those things. I leave it all to God. I will no longer be obsessed. Yan ang tinatawag nilang, I can move on because this no longer pulls me back. Hindi na kita pag-aaksaya ng oras. Biro mo, linoko mo na ako. Minomonopolize mo pa yung time ko ngayon because of the hurt. Kawawa ka naman. <laughs> Naloko ka na. Siya pa iniisip mo. Can you imagine the energy you're wasting because you're plotting, you're planning to take your revenge on him? Siya na lang iniisip ko eh. Paano ko siya gagantihan? Kawawa ka naman. Naloko ka na. Siya pa rin ang iniisip mo. Dahil gusto mong gumante. What is the best solution? Forgive that person. Move on. Give it to God. If God wants to do something, let go and let God. Ano pa? High blood, medication, <laughs> bitterness. Oh, ito pinakamaganda. You can sleep well again. <laughs> Kasi naalala ko when I was angry at... See, depression is anger turned inward. Yung pag-depress ka, that is anger turned inside. A person who is very, very angry at some point will become depressed. Because that's anger turned inside. I remember when I was very angry at my brothers. I moved into depression and I could not sleep. And I had to talk to people. Yung mga kaibigan kong pare. And I also, nag-research ako. And I learned that yung anger ko is preventing me from sleeping soundly. Nung pinatawad ko, mahirap rin matulog, pero nakakatulog na ako. Kasi, Pinabayaan ko na sila. Mahala ka na, Lord. You will be able to sleep better kung wala kang daladalang baggage in your consciousness. So, advantage yan. Pag namatay ka, <laughs> your life will flash. Pakikita ng Diyos, madami kang kasalanan. Kami mga pare, madami rin kami kasalanan ha. Hindi ko sinasabi wala kami kasalanan. When my life flashes before God, when God is already examining my life, and I will tell God, patawarin mo ako Lord. <laughs> Ang tatanungin ni Lord, pinatawa do ba yung mga iba? <laughs> Pag sinabi mo, hindi ko sila pinatawa, Lord, masakit eh. Hindi rin kita patatawarin. <laughs> Pero kung pinatawad mo sila, matatawarin ka rin ng Diyos. Kaya nga, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. May positive pa. Bababa ang high blood. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan minum ng gamot. Baka katulog ka. You can move on. You don't have to be obsessed with the person who betrayed you. Oh, bago ako, may, may third part pa. May iksi na lang yun. But are there questions first? Pwede ba ilagay? Yung, di ba may screen ka? Pwede ba ilagay yun? Proceed to the third part.
Ah, yeah, yeah. Hindi naman. Uh, yung ginamit ko lang yun, I mean, uh, we don't have to believe in karma. But, alam mo, in, in, the, in the universe, parang may some, some sense of justice. Hindi naman, hindi naman, I mean, I don't consider karma as a dogma. I don't believe in karma also. But parang, if you look, this is my experience, ha? this is my experience. Yung mga nagnakaw ng pera sa gobyerno, yung mga corrupt officials, at some point, yung perang ninakaw nila, nawawala rin sa kanila. Hindi pinakikinabangan yung kanilang mga. So, it's, I don't believe in karma also. But parang that was, the universe has some, parang God will have some sort of justice. Pero pa? Before I proceed? So, hindi, hindi yan. Ang ibig ko sabihin ng karma is, there is some sense of justice at some point. That's what I mean. Yeah, but because um, karma is actually Hinduism, that's why I had to correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not. I mean, uh, ano lang was. Not believe in karma. I'm just saying. No, I don't believe in karma. Ang ang what what I probably what I meant was there will be some sense of justice at that point. But yung justice na yan, that's not our problem. That's God's concern. Let's not clarify it. Okay na ba yun? Ano ba yun? So, would you sort of put karma down as uh, sort of on a Christian point of view, it'd be sort of like God being there and sustaining everyone through every situation and so God's presence in the world we don't really want to use the word karma, but that's the same sort of thing that God's presence. Yeah, yeah. There is some sense of justice. That's what I mean. But yeah. I, I, maybe it's my, not, my word. Reincarnation. So let's say karma means if you're bad, you become an, a cockroach in the next life. So that's karma. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. That's not, that's not no, what that's I mean. It. That's why I'm, no, that, that's what karma means. That's why I think you shouldn't use karma, but yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a God. Yeah, that's a, uh, yeah. Uh, that's not what I mean. Yeah, point, point well taken. That's not what I mean. Uh, not in re, not reincarnation. More of there is a sense of justice that is uh, will prevail at some point, whether it's in our lifetime or in another life. That's that's another story. But the point there is that would be a god of love and justice. So at some point, we will have to be accountable for the things that we have done. But you see. The problem there is we're not sure, eh, diba? If the person, why, what the motivation of the other person for hurting us? So, parang let's not stay at that level of hurt. Let's trust God to do what He feels He thinks would be best for everybody. Okay, okay, na ba? Are there other questions? Okay na? Can I proceed? Okay na? Sige. The last point. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So, the best way for us to be followers of Jesus is to imitate his life. The principles that he has taught, the virtues that he has bequeathed to us. Sa St. Luke, ito yung Gospel of Mercy. The most predominant characteristic of Jesus is being merciful. Ano-ano yung mga nandoon? Ang paborito ko, the prodigal son. Eh, napigay ko na sa inyo to, di ba? The father who forgave his son na walang kwenta. <laughs> so, this is the virtue that Jesus wants us to imbibe. Mercy. Ano ba mercy? The forgiveness din yun in another way. No? Because the son told his father, Sana mamatay ka na so that I can get my money. But we will not wait for that. Give me my share of the inheritance now. 
and the father forgave him. Di ba? When he came back, naghihintay siya doon sa taas to accept him. The son did not ask forgiveness. The son did not ask forgiveness. He memorized something, but before he can even ask, Father, forgive me, his, the father said, bring him the robe, the ring, the shoes. Hindi kailangan na humingi ng tawad ng anak eh. The father forgave him. O ano ba? Zacchaeus, the tax collector, pinatawad muna ni Jesus, yung tax collector. The tax collector just wanted to see Jesus eh. Come down, Zacchaeus, I will eat. First, he befriended the tax collector. And then when he experienced the forgiveness and mercy of Jesus, of, the, of, of Jesus, sabi niya, everything, uh, I will give one half of my money and everybody that I have defrauded, I will return two to three times more. So which means forgiveness came first. Before there, there was conversion. So this is the quality that will make us Christ-like. Diba? Pinatawad niya yung Samaritan woman. <laughs> yung adulterer. Sabi niya. There was the first, uh, uh, the first one who, uh, who was not committed sin. Throw the first stone. Nobody threw. So... Nobody has, I also forgive you. Parang, I forgive you. But see, Jesus did not ask. Sisisi ka ba? Sabi niya, I forgive you, but don't repeat it anymore, ha? Kay tama. Sabi niya, don't repeat it anymore. Reform your life. Ganun din. When somebody asks forgiveness, I forgive you, but please don't do it anymore. But hindi yon condition for forgiveness. See, Jesus took the first step. Walang condition. Walang kailangan humingi ka muna ng tawad. Kailangan bayaran mo muna ako. Kailangan lumuhod ka muna. <laughs> Wala. It is a free act of the will. It is a choice. It is not dependent on this person asking me for forgiveness. So, we become Christ-like and because Christ is God, we become God-like if we forgive. Diba? Meron tayong ano, saying, or ito yung ulitin ko. This, I will close now. Ba? Ilang minutes pa tayo? Sige. To err is human. Rinig nyo na to? To err is human. Lagi naman tayo nagkakamali. Kaya nga may confession. Eh. <laughs> to err is human. To forgive. Divine. When we forgive, we break out of our humanity. We approach divinity. We become like Jesus. We become like God. Ito yung capacity. Ito yung magdadala sa atin to being true disciples of Jesus pag nagpatawad tayo. Because if there is any characteristic that makes God God, for me, for me, it is His capacity for mercy. At ito yung aasahan natin when we die and we are face to face to God ito yung aasahan ko Lord patawarin mo ako and I approximate this God-like characteristic if I am merciful sige question meron mo question meron mo screen ka lang ah wala walang question Father, you mentioned a while ago, if the uh, the husband and the wife, let's say, are is having difficulty in forgiving each other, sometimes you need yes, to go yes, yes. counseling. What if yes. it's the child and the parent, let's say the mom, yes. or, is there counseling <laughs> for that? Yeah, no, uh, 
normally uh, it's, it's like this eh. it's like this eh. uh you first try to work it out on your level but sometimes uh sometimes the techniques available is not familiar to the parent and the child so normally you have to ask somebody who would be familiar with certain techniques that they can ah yeah okay that they can utilize to make the communication more effective so yun ang ano yun yung papasok yung some form of counselor or sometimes you call it a referee i mean i i've done that several times na yung parent saka yung child hindi magkaintindihan because sometimes they're already shouting at one another so when there is a referee they can facilitate the discussion the back and forth so pag hindi kaya nung parent at saka nung child to work it out better to have somebody hindi naman kailangan psychologist or you know, somebody that will facilitate the discussion between the two Can you give some techniques on how to forgive? I know it's a requirement because God told us to forgive, but sometimes it's hard. So how, <laughs> what are the techniques? Because sometimes uh, uh, well, we're going to, I don't know whose link is this, but there's nine minutes left. It's going to shut down again. Because see, yeah, I, I can see time left, eight minutes and 55. So we can, uh, I, I can continue. Babalik lang tayo, Sige, that's it. Uh, this is very important. Eh. Uh, sa akin, sa akin, this is the best way. Uh, I pray, keep quiet before God, and uh, <laughs> recognize my own humanity. <laughs> recognize that I've offended God so many times. I'm trying not to as a priest, but alam mo, nung bata ako, loko -loko rin ako eh. <laughs> When I remember all of those things, I said, you know, I'll go back to the Our Father. Eh? I have to ask for forgiveness from you. Eh? And I say, you're not perfect. Ako, ako, you are not perfect. Madami kang linoko. <laughs> Na mga kababae. Hindi ba? Joke lang yan. <laughs> Madami kang pinagsinungalingan. Madami kang hindi ginawa. Na, nangako ka. And if you realize that you, I'm not perfect, that I am also in need of forgiveness, that I'm a sinner, then it's easier to forgive other people also. So again, I keep quiet, get in touch with my humanity, and how God has, this is the truth, God has been very good to me, more than I deserve. I have to tell you this. God has been very good to me, more than I deserve. Eh, hindi pa ako namamatay, he's already shown me mercy. <laughs> So, yun ang isang technique. When I realize how I have failed him so many times, I have failed the people. That... <laughs> Parang, it's only one step to forgiving the other person. Of course, you have to keep quiet. You can't remember all of your sins if you're not talking, if you're not silent. <laughs> and this is what works for me. Huh? This is what works for me. Meron pa? Ulitin ko ha, dito optional ha. <laughs> but I've explained what it means. Hindi forgiveness blank check. May mga grades yan. Hindi yan blank check. What it is not, it is not forgetting, it is not emotional, it is not being stupid, it is not reconciliation. It is a free choice. Uh, it is something that is good for you. It is divine, and you are learning. So, this is not something that I invented. <laughs> Biblically based. To. I research ako. Bakit? Kasi masakit eh. Kasi I have to forgive people who betrayed me. And I said, ano ba talaga kailangan kong gawin, Lord? <laughs> Father, I have a question. Yeah, sure. um, was there a time that you questioned God why he, he allowed this to happen to you? Of course, of course. Kaya nga ako nag-depression eh. <laughs> yeah, parang... <sighs> okay. Of course, I question uh, that. Uh -huh. But alam mo, uh, when you... Uh, may asawa ka ba? Sino man yung tanong? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. Nag-aaway ba kayo mag-asawa? Yes. <laughs> okay. Nagbabati ba kayo? 
Yes, yes. Oh, di ganun, di kami ng Diyos. <laughs> Nagagalit oh, din ako. <laughs> Bakit pa pinayagan to, Lord? But later on, I will see, may mali ka rin, Chito. May mali ka rin. So, ano dyan is, it does not mean if we don't, if I don't agree with God that I don't believe Him, and that I don't follow Him, that I don't love Him. You still love your husband kahit na mag-away kayo, even if there is a difference of opinion. The important thing is to continue talking, to continue trusting one another. So okay lang. It's not a sin to question God. Parang, God, why did you allow this to happen to me? Parang so you, you, the, the ano dun is, yes, but can you show me why you allowed it to happen? <laughs> can you show me why you allowed it to happen? Sometimes, uh, this is my experience, sometimes it takes, in well, my case, three years before I understood it. It takes years before you actually understand why it had to happen. Years. Years. Thank you, Father. Our mind cannot comprehend it. Eh. Sometimes, <laughs> this is my personal experience, sometimes he will let you stay in the dark for a long, long time. When you're ready to understand, he will explain. Thank you, Father. Okay. Pero pa? Ay, hindi to theoretical yeah. ha sa akin ha. O, sige. Okay, Father. Um, yung to continue what you said, di ba? Sabi nyo na sometimes you are in the dark for a long time. It also yes, makes yes, me yes, feel yes. na bakit minsan yung parang yung feeling na ang tagal-tagal mong pinagdadasal tapos parang hindi nasasagot yung dasal. Parang ganun po. Yes, yes. Eh, how, do you, how do you reconcile with that? Parang you have been praying. Diba? Sabi na, basta you trust in Him, you pray. Kasi lang, basta pray ako ng pray, but wala, wala pa rin sagot. Eh, so how yan, do you eh. reconcile with that? Eh, ganito yan eh. God always answers our prayer. The question is, is that the answer that you want? Oh, God always answers our prayer, but sometimes the answer is not what we want. Oh, so you have to ask, What is God telling me if it does not give me what I want? Because when we're asking for something, diba, we expect it to be given. And sometimes what is given, if it is given, is not actually good for us. Manalo ko ng loto. Uh, example lang, example lang to. Alam mo ba, statistics show, all those who won, yung mga loto, yung mga ganyan, all of them have ruined lives. Nasira yung buhay nila nung nagkapera sila. I know one example. Where nanalo siya, he gave his children everything that they wanted. O di lahat sila naging drug addict. Sometimes, what we ask is not good for us. That's why God does not give it to us. Now, it will take a long, long time before we really understand. Hindi pala binigyan ng Diyos sa akin to. Kasi, hindi ito mga kabuti. Now, Can you tell me, okay, pwede mo sabihin sa, are you sure, Father? Hindi, I'm not sure. <laughs> Who knows? But this is my experience. May mga hindi siya binigay that I've seen later was not really going to be good. Uh, example, eh. bigyan na lang isang example. Wala akong asawa, di ba, pare ako? I have a propensity for Gambling. Gambling. Meron akong gene for gambling. Kaya mga sira ulo ng mga kapatid ko. If I did not become a priest, for example, I got married. If I got married, sigurado ako sira buhay. So he did not give me a wife because kawawa naman yung wife ko. <laughs> ah, sige, can we, pwede tayo tumuloy? One minute. Ah, sige. Meron pa? Sige. So, at ito, I will uh, wrap up na. Yung binigay ko, I hope you caught the notes, no? Yung ano, this is just to start you off on your own reflection. At least now, the myths are clear. Yung hindi na to, alam mo na hindi na to. But this is your way of reflecting. What does forgiveness mean to my life? And I'm repeating, this is not optional, ha? <laughs> This is a command God gave us. Oh, tigil lang ako ron. One minute na lang. I mean, hopefully this will make you think, make you reflect, make you search. 
make you do your own search and reflection. Okay na? God bless you, Father. Thank you. Okay. Amen. Thank Mighty you, God bless Father. you, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Amen, Lord. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Father.